this here, can you, can you finish the sentence, is another viewer's broken gaming PC, and uh, well, this one's got a pretty big problem. All of a sudden, just stopped working and no longer sends a signal out, aka it no longer wants to post. That's a that's a big problem. The owner says his son was playing some games and all of a sudden the screen cut out. Couldn't get any signal to his monitor from there on out. And uh, yeah, I mean, you got one big paperweight when that happens. And it sucks because it looks like the system should still be working, right? In the event of just a no post, it assumes that you're still getting power, that all your fans are spinning, your LEDs and whatnot are lighting up. So it can be a bit misleading there. The owner also tells me that he already tried swapping out the graphics card and RAM to no avail. If that is true, I, I think that's actually a good thing. I'd rather replace a CPU or motherboard than a graphics card. It's just harder for me to get a replacement of uh, whatever might be in here. Hey there, and welcome to Fix or Flop. If you are new here, be sure to check out the video description for relevant info. Just know that everything we do in these videos is free of charge, including replacing the hardware. It's because of your viewership and supporters, like our sponsors that you're about to see, uh, that allow us to continue doing what we're doing here. You just need to be local to fill out that form. Again, linked in the video description. All right, let's try to get this one fixed. Are you ready? Stay with me. To get rid of that annoying Windows activation watermark, head on over to VIP SCD key. Purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say bye bye to the watermark. And be sure to use our offer code SKGS for a so sweet discount. Let's do a quick walk around of this rig, shall we? Just gonna go over some basic specs here. This is an RX 6700 or 6750 XT, I believe. Uh, and this was uh, the card that was swapped out to ensure that it was working. We're still gonna double check that on our end if we have to, uh, just for peace of mind's sake. Not that we don't trust the viewer, we just, yeah, we, we don't trust anybody because that's kind of the whole point of due diligence. Uh, we've got a B550 motherboard in here. This is a Ryzen platform. We've got 16 gigs of XLR8 DDR4 and an RM850X power supply. The case is, uh, it looks like from, uh, it's a Musatex case, and it actually has pretty decent front ventilation. The holes are pretty small. This might not be super effective, but it's something, and I can work with that. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like behind the motherboard tray. The case is a little dirty. It's, yeah, like I said, you know, it's, it's, uh, it hasn't been clean in a while, and there's some, there's some gunk and stuff, but we're not really going to focus on that because we're just tasked with fixing it. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting process. I'm going to power the system on and see if we actually do or do not get that post. I just realized the shadow was like right in my face when I filmed that. Hey, how you doing? So, what are we working with here? Power on at the rear, power up front. Ooh, very green. Looks like a, I'm not sure what that'll look like on camera. It looks like a lime green or a mint green. I actually dig that on a white case. All right, come on now, just looking for that post. Anything, any sign of life? Any debug LED on this board? Oh, hey. Hey. It, uh, <laughs> it works? Am I, uh, am I being punked? So I just let the owner know that his system works perfectly fine uh, and booted up first try without issues. I'm kind of curious to see what he says. It's possible that he might have miswired something. Maybe his monitor was off when he didn't know it or a switch at the rear wasn't turned. I mean, he said it wouldn't post though, which implies that it was powering on to some extent. So. Maybe he just had a bad display cable. There's a lot of possibilities here. And unfortunately, I can't really test any of those because I'm not there physically. Now, here is his description. Uh, the issue that he described in the form that he submitted to have this system checked on the channel. He said, this is my son's PC. He was playing on it, uh, said it crashed, and now there is no video. I feared it was the video card, so I put my 6700 XT in it and still no video. Oh. So unless he has the same card as his son, this graphics card here is the replacement card, but he said he still couldn't get video out of it. Well, I can tell you, I'm getting video out of it. I tried another RAM and still nothing. It's a 5600X in a Gigabyte Aorus B550 motherboard, all just before Christmas. So he was pretty bummed out about that, but I think he'll be excited to know that the rig actually works just fine, at least with his replacement card in here. So if he was seeing the same issue, the same symptom with both graphics cards, it is, again, I'm gonna point back to either the cable 
uh, that needs to be called into question or the monitor itself. If you have, a, let's say, an HDMI cable and you connect it to the HDMI port, which might exist at the back of your motherboard, sometimes you won't get a picture out. Those instances include when you have a discrete card attached and you haven't preset the BIOS to boot into the integrated graphics, uh, or in the case of uh, a system with no discrete card but no integrated graphics either. The 5600X in here does not have an IGP, which means no matter what, under any circumstance, unless, well, Okay, this wasn't always the case. There were some older boards that had like onboard video out. Like there was like a, a small little graphics chip on the motherboard. That's not the case anymore, at least with this platform. But anyway, you're not gonna get picture out through the 5600X. There's no way, it, the, the CPU can't generate the image. So make sure you connect your HDMI cable and your DisplayPort cable, et cetera, et cetera, to your discrete card if you have it unless you're doing something super weird that doesn't involve the card at all and you've already changed those video out settings in the BIOS. A TLDR, don't connect here, connect here. Now I'm still gonna take the right side panel off. We're gonna check wiring for all peripherals, make sure that there's nothing that's disconnected that might have caused the no post issue. The viewer, by the way, just got back to me and said that uh, he's kind of surprised, but He'll take it, now, <laughs> obviously, I don't blame him. But unsurprisingly, things look pretty darn clean back here. Uh, you know, cable management could maybe use a bit of work, but uh, otherwise, everything's wired up, all the RGB works. Uh, we do have a hard disk drive down here, although I doubt Windows is on this because, well, it booted up way too fast to be uh, a, a boot volume on a, on a hard disk drive. So he's probably got an M.2 or something also hooked up. Uh, the primary cables, the cable extensions, again, are all wired fine. So I don't see any real reason to tamper with anything back here. It's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it scenarios. Uh, there are a couple things though that I do want to address, just small things, but still, we've got uh, two fans up top here, but one of them is set for whatever reason to exhaust, which is what I would do with a top mounted fan. But the other one is set to intake, and it's also positioned closer to the front. I I'm assuming it's because there was some sort of clearance issue with the uh, little VRM MOSFET heatsink on this board. But if that's the case, it wouldn't hurt to also move the actual exhaust fan closer to the front, um, higher up so that they're both on the same plane. So we'll take care of that for them. Uh, it is a bit dirty. I suppose we could wipe it down a bit and uh, we'll cable manage a tad on this side, clean it up for them, and then we'll give it back. I'm not going to upgrade anything in this rig. Uh, in all fairness, it shouldn't even be here because there's nothing wrong with it, and I don't want to encourage folks to submit rigs that don't have problems in hopes that they receive upgrades. I'm not gonna make a habit of that here. So uh, let's take care of these small things, and then we'll wrap it up and give it back to them. So here's what it looks like up top now. I think, uh, yeah, it just makes a lot more sense. It's uh, cleaner as well, cleaned up cable management, so from the side you can't really see any of those fan cables. Uh, also fix the uh, PCIe supplemental cables here. You can see he's got some black cable combs and then also some clear ones. So what I did was I set the black ones to be pretty much in line with each other, and then I've actually crossed these clear ones in between both sets of cables to act as a sort of like half bridge and uh, that should hopefully keep them looking a lot cleaner almost like it's one big bulk of cables instead of two separate ones so from the side now you can see it's uh yeah just a much cleaner run overall we cleaned up some cable management down here he had some extra like little led cables that we really did not need they weren't uh doing anything at all, actually. They're just kind of laying in there. So I took those out. I'll give them back to him if he wants to use them in the future. But uh, yeah, so from, from, from this angle, cable management looks a lot better. The last thing I want to do is clean up a bit. Obviously, there's a lot of grime and stuff that I, I mean, I could deep clean this rig, but uh, I want to get this back to them in time for Christmas. Now, by the time you watch this video, I'm sure it will be long after Christmas. Maybe not, but probably. Uh, there's just a lot of gunk and stuff that we can get up here. And uh, so I'm going to get some probably some baby wipes. I think that'll be the best approach here uh, and make sure they're not soaked in water. Uh, we'll let this stuff dry and then we'll drop it off. I actually got some more of this uh, Whoosh screen shine and it's uh, to be used on a lot of different services. It's just a device cleaner and I've had good results with this. So I'm gonna use this instead of baby wipes now that I've had, had a few seconds to think about it. This stuff will uh, dry very quickly as well and we can just use a cheap little rag like this. This obviously won't fix everything. Uh, there's still gonna be scratches and the like. You see you've got a lot of uh, indentions here from where the screws have already punctured the paint in this white case, just a yeah a side effect of going with the white model. But uh, I, I like it. Overall, the aesthetic is really nice. I think the green that he used is very cool as well. And now that we don't have this orange gunk as uh, prevalent as before, I'd say we've breathed a bit of new life into this thing. More orange goo right here. Yep, see? Coming off fairly easily. Ew, there's some gross stuff back here as well. Now we're just gonna 
basically scrub everything about this case. And we're almost finished. This, by the way, would not come up with uh, compressed air. There's just no way. It's gunk. It's not dust. It's literally like a yellow, gross gunk. A few moments later. Now this is much better. We'll take it outside and dust it very quickly off camera, but uh, I'm very happy with this, and I think the owner will be happy with it as well. Again, no new parts here, it didn't need anything, it's working as is, there's not much more I can do. A bit of a surprise to end this one out for those who watched this far into this video, knowing full well that the system really didn't require any actual fixing, I think this is the first time that's happened on the playlist, I wanna give away a graphics card. And it's not really gonna matter where you live as long as I can physically ship you the card, and if I can't, I'll try my best to just ship you, or well, not even ship you, I'll just like try to send you some, some money via PayPal or something to uh, offset the cost of an equivalent card in your country. Um, but we've got a pretty decent, reliable way to ship cheaply, even internationally now. So we wanna test it out with this card here. You guys are my guinea pigs. All you need to do to enter is just comment. That's it. I'm not gonna do the whole freaking glean thing or like, like and subscribe and comment and check the notification bell. Like just, just leave a comment. I don't care. If you're not subscribed, it's whatever. Just comment and uh, we'll go from there. I'll just use a random comment selector and uh, I will reply underneath your comment with my official YouTube account. Don't fall for any of those Telegram scams or anything. And uh, from, from there, yeah, I'll gather your info and we'll get this card out to you. So again, thanks for watching this far to this one. Sorry there wasn't a, a real fix. We did clean it up a bit. And I think it looks better now, but um, it's, it's working. I'll take credit for that, I guess. Yeah, why not? It's working. It entered the office and it's leaving in working condition. Good luck in the giveaway, folks. RTX 2060 here. It's not the craziest card in the world, but uh, it is something. We're gonna try to do more of these in the future. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.